Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Jane Francis de Chantel Parish. We especially welcome any guests and visitors who are joining us in prayer on this third Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we ask that you keep in mind the special intentions for which this Mass is offered, including the parishioners, Nancy Villarreal, Valentine Vakai, and also deceased members, friends, and relatives of our parish family, including Lorman Laprise. Please stand and let us begin our celebration. of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred liturgy, we're ever mindful of God's love for us, and the same love he calls us to share with each other. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you call all people to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you are our hope and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to, to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you. you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone Lord, are the Lord. Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah <laughs> saying, set out for the great city of Nineveh and announced the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone a single day's walk announcing, 40 days more and Nineveh will be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast. And all of them, great and small, put on a sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned away from their evil way, he repeated the evil that he had threatened to do them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. God. Oh, Lord, man. 
me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Teach me your way, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your way, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is a time of fulfillment. Repent and believe in the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of all people. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in the boats mending their nets. Then he called to them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the things I do when I'm preparing to baptize little children is I'll often ask the parents, what is the history behind the names that you give your child? What is the history? And sometimes there will be a family connection. And other times they will say, well, no one in our family has this name. And I said, well, great, because then he or she can develop their own history. But the name now becomes a part of your family. The history behind my name is that my father and my mother's father shared the name Anthony. My father's father, first name was Paul. Anthony Paul. So we covered all the bases. Everybody was satisfied and happy. No one was upset. And then John is my confirmation name after 
the Gospel writer St. John. But there's a history there, and it goes back a long way. I would imagine, if you think about the history behind your own particular names, there may be a history, there probably is, especially if you're the oldest in a Polish family. Certainly, you always take the father's name. It was just by luck that my mother's father's name was Anthony as well. And then we develop and are called into the mission of the church. Today's gospel, like yet last Sunday's gospel, are called the call narrative. Jesus calls the disciples. Last week, if you recall, Jesus says to Simon Peter and Andrew, James and John, come and see. Come and see where I live. Come and see. In today's gospel, the gospel writer Mark makes it a point to use the names, the, pr the proper names of Andrew, Peter, John, and James, the sons of Zebedee. He calls them by name, just as, indeed, God calls us by name. Our names are unique to ourselves. Some have a history. Some will, indeed, be afforded the opportunity to, indeed, develop their own history. But the point behind the call narratives that we hear, and we'll hear it next week as well, is that God invites us into the mission of the church. We are all called to the mission of the church. And he doesn't just say, come in, but he calls us by name. So as we celebrate this Eucharist, as we celebrate this day, the important part of today's gospel is twofold. First, the Lord calls Andrew and Peter, James and John by name. But more importantly, they respond. They respond to the Lord's call. The Lord will call us by name. But the challenge of today's gospel, the challenge of last week's gospel, and the challenge of next week's gospel will be to respond to the Lord's call. In one voice, we profess our one faith. I believe, I believe in one, in one God, God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, and earth, earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born, born of the, the Father, Father before, before all ages, God, God from God, God light, light from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten, God not made, made consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the, from the Father, Father and the, and the Son, Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We place our needs in our petition and indeed our thanksgivings in the hands of loving Father. For the church, that God will unify all Christians in the body of Christ, bringing good news to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our Congress and the new administration, that God will inspire understanding of the current issues and guide them in addressing the economic, public health, safety issues, 
of our society in service of the common good, let us pray to the Lord. For the family of faith, that we each hear God's call and follow without hesitation, let us pray to the Lord. For the homebound, the hospitalized, and the res residents of care facilities, may they unite their challenges in this life with your sufferings, Jesus, and for the final hope, peace, and fulfillment of purpose, let us, find, let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they know the loving embrace of your merciful Father, let us pray to the Lord. With thanksgiving for many blessings, we bring to the altar the intentions of this Mass, those in our intercessory prayer box and webpage, and those in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, you know our hearts and our prayers long before we voice them. In your love and in your mercy, May they be granted to you, we ask all of this, through Christ our Lord. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept our offering, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world. You arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image, setting us over the whole world in all its wonder. And so with all the angels, we praise you in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all those who serve and minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, the blessed apostles, St. Jane Francis, and all your saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. In grace, we grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. For those who are watching live stream, I will indeed lead you in an act of spiritual communion and we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all, above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you've already come. I embrace you and I never wish, me, never wish to be part, departed from you. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Gracious and loving God, you have called us to the one table to partake of the one bread and the one cup so as to become the one body of Christ the church. May we become the mysteries we've celebrated. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Forms to renew names or add new names to the, <clears throat> to the first Sunday monthly memorial list are available in the bulletin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.